Hello, my loves. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, okay, so this is going to be your weekly reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Okay, so we've got nostalgia, messages, and options. So here's the deal, Collective. I feel like someone is reaching out to you because they're bored. Because they're bored. They're missing you. It's not like they're not missing you, okay? Um, but I feel like someone's, you know, they have, they're talking to multiple people and they're just kind of bored and the, maybe they're bored of the options that they have. I don't know why I'm picking up on the word boredom. Um, I don't know if this person has been casually dating people, but they're missing you. It's like they're bored. They're bored of the people that they're dating or they're bored without you. Um, maybe this person has tried to replace you and failed. But I feel like this person misses you a lot. Um, they're looking for you in, I think, everyone that they meet. They're still looking at your pictures. This person could be dreaming of you. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that has been going around, pursuing their options, trying to replace you, and they have not uh, been successful in doing so, okay? Oh, sorry, that was like too tight. Spirit, tell me about the collective, please. 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 Tell me about this person coming back around for the collective, please. Okay. So we have the Four of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the collective, please. We have the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Oh, Collective, this person had it all with you. I feel like you were dating this person. You could have been living with this person, engaged with to this person, married to this person. And I, I feel like everything was going too good, I guess. Because, I mean, there was love, there was stability, there was routine. It could be collective that this person got bored in your relationship and walked away. It seems to me like this is someone that gets bored easily. Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords. Yeah, this person ended up cutting you off. They ended up cutting you off or choosing someone over you. Or it could be that this person was getting tempted to view, you know, to, to see other options. It could be that your connection was just becoming too routine. It was too, too stable. And this person wasn't ready to settle down to that extent. Tell me about the collective, please. Yeah, see, we got the devil and the three of cups. Everything started becoming too routine in your connection. And I feel like they started getting tempted by third party energies. With the nine of cups and the ten of swords here, I feel like this person destroyed something really amazing. Because, you know, they just... They got bored. They wanted a little bit of excitement. This person got tempted by outside energies. Tell me about the collective, please. We've got the Seven of Cups here and the Hermit. But now they're bored with their options. This, this person's just bored of everybody. I don't know what it takes to keep this person entertained. I feel like now they went off to go pursue these other options. And they're bored with those options too. With the Hermit now and the Three of Wands, they're missing you. Spirit, tell me about the collective here, please. Tell me about the collective. And the magician. We could be dealing with a Virgo, Gemini, Capricorn, strong Virgo. This is someone that gets bored really easily, I'm telling you right now. With the Three of Wands and the magician, I feel like this person's missing you. They're manifesting you back. The Knight of Cups and the Judgment card. We could be dealing with a Sag. This is someone that wants to apologize for what they did. Three of Swords for breaking your heart, for hurting you, for choosing someone over you. But I don't know, man. I mean, tell me about the Collective, please. And the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to apologize. But see, my thing is here, though, Collective, with the Five of Swords and the Four of Wands here, it's like, this is someone that doesn't like stability, 
they like chaos they they like drama they this person operates off of toxicity this person could have had a maybe a wild childhood or whatever but this person doesn't like it when things get too comfortable see with the the four of swords here and the knight of pentacles collective when when things get too comfortable in the connection they don't like it they don't like it with the strength card and the two of pentacles and the ten of cups it's like they they lose interest they pull away they just you know what i'm saying they they don't they don't want it you know the eight of cups and the hanged man i feel like collective this person leaves you hanging like every time things start to get really good they leave you hanging to go screw off with someone else but i feel like this person also feels like you'll sit around and wait for them like you'll sit around and wait for them to come back tell me about the seven of swords this is someone who's not yeah nine of wands and the seven of swords i don't this is not this is like a commitment phobe when everything starts to be be too um how do i want to put it too routine too comfortable they don't like it they they this person thrives off of anxiety chaos tell me about the two of swords here and the five of pentacles this person completely disappeared they cut you off ghosted you could they could have chosen someone else over you with the devil and the ace of pentacles this person went towards something new six of pentacles they breadcrumbed you ghosted you to go pursue something else to go pursue something else tell me about the nine of cups here for the collective with the ace of swords the five of wands and the ten of swords here's what's really messed up about this they wanted you to know they they wanted you they wanted to make it clear that there was other options this is someone that thrives uh, this person might be narcissistic i don't know but this person like with the king of swords and the high priestess it's like this is premeditated almost like this is someone that likes knowing that you know that they cut you off for someone else like they like knowing that you're hurt jealous envious betrayed they like that toxicity they like it do you understand they like it they like knowing that they've caused pain and suffering tell me about the seven of cups and the fool this person went around and dated multiple people multiple people sorry guys that noise was my uh, washing machine tell me about the hermit please and the queen of wands yeah i feel like your person started getting uh bored with these third party energies and with the three of wands the four of pentacles and the king of swords this is someone that's planning a comeback they're planning on popping up again here collective tell me about the magician and the emperor with the justice card so collective this person plans on popping up and telling you that they're going to commit that they're going to do right by you that they'll never do that to you again the knight of cups and the king of pentacles temperance and the judge this person is going to smooth you and sweet talk you and charm your pants off um this is someone that's coming back to love bomb you they're coming back to love bomb you but this person gets bored very quickly guys tell me about the three of swords here Ooh. and the king of cups tell me about the page of pentacles and the hierophant what we have here is somebody that is claiming to be completely committed to never put you through this again, but it's a page's promise. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person isn't really coming towards you. All they're trying to do is get into your feelings again. Look, we got the page of wands, the page of cups, the two of cups. Like this is somebody that is just playing around. This is someone that's just playing around. But I feel that, you know, I don't know, you may have allowed this once or twice before. And this person feels like your life is a hotel, like it's a revolving door that, you know, they can come chill with you, you know, everything is good for a little while. And then they can just dip on you, ghost you, leave you for dead, go play with other people and come back. This person thinks that you're just like a hotel that they can come and go as they please three of pentacles 
and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, they're coming in to love bomb you. They're coming towards you like a bat out of hell. But with the Star card and the Seven of Wands here, I feel like whatever they're expecting to happen with that Seven of Wands is not going to happen. Page of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Cups. Collective, I feel like you may have met someone new. They're going to be they're they're about to hit a wall when they come back to you this time. With the Eight of Pentacles here, yeah, there is a new connection in your life that's that's working. That's that's really like, you know, working for you. Like you're you've met someone that really puts in the work with the Wheel of Fortune. This could be a divine soulmate. The Nine of Swords, the Empress, and the Six of Swords. This person is now losing their shit because they think that they 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 see that you've moved on. This person knows that they've lost an empress. With the Eight of Wands and the Five of Cups, expect a shit ton of communication from this person about how sorry they are for choosing someone else or for cheating or for giving into temptation. This is someone that is just going to get a sob story. This is someone that's going to try to get you in your feelings, okay? Like they are coming in with quite the sob story, but I think you, you're, you've met someone new. Tell me about this new love for the collective. Tell me about this new love for the collective. We've got the three of swords and the page of cups in the reverse collective. I feel that you realize that this person is always going to uh, disappoint you. That this person, they, they say they love you, but they don't. This is someone that is always going to break your heart. You, you just came to that realization after this last fight. Yes, yeah, see, Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords. I think you realize that this person has a serious problem. Like, this is like a serial cheater. This is someone who is absolutely non-committal. You understand what I'm saying? This is someone that wants to bounce between the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, you know, having a stable, steady life and building a life to the Knight of Wands and the Lover's Card. Like, this is someone that wants their cake and they want to eat it too. And I think that collective, you made your peace with it. You, you, you're realizing here that there's nothing wrong with you. This isn't how you look, how you dress, how you act, how you talk, how you are in bed. There's nothing that you're, you know, you're doing wrong here. It's just this person cannot be committed. It's like they get bored. You know, they have to make sure they're hurting someone. This person thrives in pain and chaos. Do you understand? And then they think that with the judgment card and the four swords that they could just come back around. So I think you've made your peace with this collective. Tell me about this new love. We've got Temperance and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you've made your peace with it and you said enough is enough with the Nine. Yeah, see, look, this is this person rushing back in and this is you shutting the door with that Seven of Wands energy. With the Sun card and the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Swords, I feel like you're telling this person, I'm happy now and this is over. This is over. I feel like this person's going to pay their karma. Five of Wands, the Magician, and the King of Wands here with the World card. I mean, the, the, what do they really expect to happen here? This person wants to consistently manifest drama, feels of it, feelings of insecurity, feelings of fear and jealousy and en envy. I mean, they want to trigger these negative emotions in you, and you just don't want it anymore. You know, you don't want it anymore. Tell me about this new love, please, for the collective. We got the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. I feel like you're meeting someone new here where there is equal give and take. Yeah, Page of Wands and the Ace of Cups. You got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and you guys are both on the same page. This person could be younger than you. They could be younger than you with the Page of Wands energy. The Seven of Pentacles and the Moon. Oh, this is, could be someone, this new person could be telling you that they've had their eye on you for a while. This is someone that may have had a crush on you for quite some time. This person could be a strong Pisces energy here or Scorpio, Leo, Sag, or Aries with the Two of Wands and the Nine of Cups and the Death Card Collective. I feel like you're going to choose the new person because this new person treats you right. They make you feel sexy. They, they give you attention. They make you feel confident. This person puts you on a pedestal. They respect you. This person, I mean, yeah, the Justice Card, the Ten of Cups, and the Hierophant. This is someone that sees your worth. You're moving towards somebody that sees your worth here. 
okay and i i feel like this this ex is in for the shock of their life because you know up until now everything was working out for this person they they've had their cake they eat it too you know they go play they come back home this person's looking for a parent not a partner they're looking for like mom or dad's house when they were 17 where they could leave and go screw whoever they want come back you know eat a bowl of cereal go to bed like you know what i'm saying they're they're looking for a home base they're not looking for an actual relationship this person's very immature all right guys i hope this helped you i love you so much and i will see you soon take care my loves